Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, video series on Java Lab. So in this session, we are going to look at the first program. So we are going to uh, discuss about the theory associated with the program. And in the next video, we are going to look at the actual demonstration. So let's continue. So when we are talking about the structure of a Java program, you have to know that a Java program contains one or more classes. Okay. I am repeating again. A Java program contains or is a collection of one or more classes. So whenever you see a Java program, usually you will find one or more classes inside it. Okay. And one thing is among these classes that you are creating, one class will contain a main method. So who are coming from C language or C++ background, they already know about this main. There we call it a function. Here we call it a method. Okay. Right. Now, since a Java program contains one or more classes, now let's see the structure of a Java class. So it is as shown here. Right. So this is the structure of a Java class. Okay. Now, mm, within the Java program, you can have a package statement. Okay. So don't worry. Um, when, whenever we encounter the package program, there I will discuss about what is a package. Now, the first line should be a package statement. That is, if, if you are going to declare a package, that will be the first statement. So here I have mentioned that this statement is optional. Okay. So always the first statement in a Java program should be a package statement. That is, if you are going to create it. Otherwise, the next thing will be one or more import statements. Okay. So you can write more than one import statements. And these are also optional. Okay. So uh, why do you use import statement means? So people who are coming from C language or C++, uh, C++ background, they will, they know that they will use hash include, right? Hash include stdio.h, hash include maybe stdlib.h, something like that. Okay, so in Java, you can say we will use import statement just like we have used hash include. Okay, we will see later an example for all these things. And next, you, you will write comments. Uh, here I have written it as a third statement, but actually it can come as a first statement also. Okay. So actually comments can be written anywhere. In the in the middle of, I mean, at the end of a line or you know, somewhere in the program, whatever. Okay. And next comes the class declaration. So this is how you create a class. Okay. So inside the class, you will have, I mean, you can have these things. Like you can create variables, you can write comments, you can create constructors, you can create methods which are functions in C, and you can create classes inside classes, also called as nested classes. And in Java, we have something new called interfaces. Okay. So nested interface means interface created within the class. That is called nested interface. And you can create enumerations. Okay. So these are all the things that you can create inside a class, right? Now let's see about each of these things in detail. So first thing is, as I told you, package statement. Okay. And as I already told you, it is optional. Okay. So whenever you want to write a package statement, it should be the first statement in the file. And next one is import statements. Okay, as I already told you, you can write one or more import statements and these, these things are also optional, right? Now, what is the use of import statement is you can link your class that you are creating with already existing classes which are there in Java. Okay, so inside the packages, what you actually find is the predefined classes. And if you want to use the functionality within those predefined classes, you will, you will import those packages which contains those classes. Right? Okay. And next comments. So usually many of the programmers, especially students, don't write these comments. They never care about these things. Okay. So to whom these comments are actually helpful is to the people who are reading your programs. 
you as a developer or programmer you know what is your code and what, what client does what but the people who are going to read your programs don't don't know that okay so to help them you will write this comments and as mentioned previously comments are also optional okay and then comes the class declaration so how do you create a class means so you will create the class declaration with the class keyword okay so in java class is a keyword all the all small letters right followed by class name and then followed by the definition of the class within the braces okay so don't worry i will give the examples and all these things in the coming videos okay as i already told you the class definition can have variables comments constructors methods next classes machine interfaces and enumerate okay so this is about how you create a class or structure of a java class now as i told you the structure of a java program is it contains one or more classes so here you have three classes class 1 class 2 class 3 and as i told you earlier one of the classes will contain the main method okay and all these classes will follow this structure okay so not exactly the entire thing this part okay all the classes will follow this part right so <clears throat> what i want to tell you is mm, in most of the lab programs or in some of the lab programs you will see more than one class in a program okay so you might be thinking that can't we do the same thing using only one class means yes you can absolutely do it but it is not the correct way of writing a java program okay so in a java program the main logic will be in one class and in the other class you will have main function from where you will call call your actual logic okay so at least you will be having two classes at least right so but if you decide you can remove those two classes and write the entire thing in one class itself but it is not a good way so there is always this learning of programming and learning the programming right way okay so writing two or more classes is learning the program in a right way okay so that's about the theory for structure of a java program uh, i hope all of you have understood uh thank you